Hello everyone, my name is Bob Mitch and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. Today on the 317 live server we're going to do some looting. Now in the last video I did, I went around various wrecks and I showed you some spelunking for the wrecks. In this video I'm going to make things a bit more simple rather than if you just wanted to go out and explore, which is fair enough and it's very fun to do. I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to get some of the best boxes from the loot wrecks that are currently in game. So. Where we are right now, as you can see behind me, we're at Baijini Point, above Art Corp and Area 18, and we need to get into a ship. This is providing, of course, that you've done some preparation, so you've got a weapon that can shoot some mines, you've got a tractor multi-tool that I have, maybe something to defend yourself, and some decent armour so that you aren't going to freeze, because it is cold on the surface of Walla. So, let's go. Now, as you can see, we're running out here to our Origin 135C. Just a little ship to do short hops, as I've shed, said in my shed, said in my previous video. It's a lot easier if you bring something that's smaller. Something like a Drake Cutlass is perfect. Something like a Constellation can be doable, but it's pushing it. I'm using the uh, 135 here or the 100 series because it's just about right, and you can put some boxes in it if you want to, with some space to still move around. The strong recommendation for this, and the reason I'm bringing this, is because it has a bed. I very, very highly recommend that you find something or you own something that has a bed in it, the usage of which I will show you shortly. So what we want to do next is we want to get off the ground and we want to go to Walla. So as soon as you're up from the station, when the station lets me take off, we need to find and head towards Walla. Once you're here, you're going to want to look around for Art Corp Mining Area 048 or 48 if you just want to use shorthand, normally down to the bottom left here, depending on whether the moon's in the day cycle or the night cycle. Once you found it, head straight down to it. A few hours later. Okay, we are now zooming down to Walla, as you can see, on Art Corp Area 48. So like I said, 48, once you're coming down, you need to just head straight for the outpost. Between that skip and this last one that I'm recording now, I've had to wait four hours for the daytime to come around on Walla and another two because the servers are having some issues and no one could get onto a server region. So that was fun, waiting for that. But thanks to the magic of YouTube editing, it's just an instant skip. Okay, so we're down to the outpost, as you can see. When we're above it, if I don't slam straight into the ground and lawn dart it, you need to set your heading to 171. So your heading thing is at the top here. And it's always going to be just above one of the top of these peaks. You can see straight ahead of me. And we just want to head in this direction. You can head to 170 if you want. This one's pretty easy to find. It's about 24 kilometers away. Um, so, you know, just head for 170, 171. And especially in the daylight, you'll see it pretty quick. The uh, That little gust there is a good reason of why I said to wear some kind of suit. Um, because there can be sometimes very nasty storms that blow up on Walla that do compromise suits, especially if you're wearing light armor, so keep that in mind. I'm not going to time skip or anything here, and I'm not going to cut, I'm just going to fly straight ahead. So you can see that we're flying over all these snow capped peaks on heading 171. I'm not going to go too fast. Normally, if it's just me flying now, I'd belt it because I know where I'm going, but I want to give you guys some reference. Once you do this a few times, you'll know it easily, especially in the daylight because it's really easy to find. So you just dart over these hills. The chances for this wreck that we're going to now has a chance of spawning, well it does spawn a bunch of blue boxes, so the food boxes if those are your thing. However it also has a chance for a yellow box, so one of the massive rare loot boxes, and two of the red subscriber boxes. So it's definitely worth your time to come here and grab this one if you are hunting these rare loot boxes. So, where we are now, you can see that the caps of the mountains are starting to turn green with this mineral that has all these fun um, geodes on it when you get nice and close to them. And that's important because as you come to these green crested hills, that's what makes this wreck so easy to spot. It will be just down here. So heading 170, 171, just on these hills. And as we get a little bit closer, you will see there is a freshly lawn darted caterpillar sat there waiting for you. Easy peasy. This one is very easy to find. Again, I'm not going to do a time skip. I'm just going to hold still because I'll show you where to land if you're in a ship. If you're in something bigger, you can land over there. However, because I'm in this little 100i, something smaller like this. In fact, we do have that little stormy wind around here at the minute, which could be interesting. You just want to plonk yourself down here. And off goes the engine. So 
So we get ourselves out into the environment. I haven't fallen over yet, but I can definitely tell there's a wind because my character just jerked a little bit. So the wreck is spread very prettily. This is probably one of the prettiest wrecks, even though it is one of the best to come to. Over this hillside, so you can see you've got the rear end section there. And if you follow this trail of destruction, the other half of it has actually fallen down this ridge and is laying on its side a little further down the hill. Just down there. So you can see it sort of skidded off as it crashed. Anyway, we want to go back this way. So intuition, if you've done these wrecks before, would mean that you're probably going to start sweeping around for doors and things to get into, which is not wrong, because that's the way to do it. However, with a few of these wrecks, and more importantly this one, that is not the way. Everyone misses the loot box in this one that uh, is the most important one, so the yellow one, and I'll show you why. So if we come into this section here, just like a lot of the other wrecks around the area, you've got these trip wires. Oh, there's the storm for you, kicking me around as I go in. Let's see if we can just blow these away. Nope, I'm being a terrible shot. There we go, after all that. When you come in here, you have these doorways that go up. And this one doesn't tend to have anything significant in it. Sometimes there can be a blue box here. But you go up this ladder. And the way is sealed, and the way to get around is to open these, as I've demonstrated before, with these sweet spots. However, it opens this, and you can't go any further, and there isn't traditionally anything more of use. Like I said, sometimes there's a blue box. And you think, oh, that's it, I've cleared this section. What you are is wrong, and I'll show you why. If we head back outside, the one section that everybody forgets to check on these models of wrecks if we can get over here, is that thing there, the bridge section. It's completely open and exposed. And you've got to remember that these aren't just something that you can zip around. They're jumping puzzles. You have to move things around. You have to explore. It's not just to see, oh, there's a closed door there now. I can't get there. You have to find another way in. And the way we do it here is literally just jumping. And we're on top. You do it again. And you do it again and you're on top of the ship. We slow our pace down here a little bit so the weak gravity doesn't just launch us off if we hit a bump. You just walk along the roof of the cabin, drop inside, crouch down, and there isn't on this particular server, but I will show you. Normally there's a yellow box sitting right here. You vault over here and you have a rare loot box that's in this spot here. After that you can just pick it up and drop it down. And you have one mind to clear here. And then you can literally just walk out the side door with it and you're outside. I would recommend that when you pick up that box, you don't just drop it in the back of your ship. Grab it, close it, put it back down on the floor inside the ship because, as we've discussed, they have a tendency to despawn and disappear. So, that's where your rare loot box is here at this site. The easiest one to get as soon as you land it's inside the cockpit on the top deck and you just have to clear a mind to get it out. The two red ones are in the uh, end back here that's on its side and I'll just show you how to get to them. Hopefully no one's been here. If they have, I'll just re-log and I'll show you quickly. I have to say that the servers are still being a bit janky. Um, friends list is still broken as I'm playing this right now so there's a few back-end services that aren't working as I'm recording this. However, I am recording this now with my return 3060, so as you can see the frame rate is a lot better and a lot more fun. So, we come to the back of this section here that's on its side, not to the very, very, very back section. There's normally a blue box in there for food, and we come in here. And you can see there's a trip mine right here. And sat just in this little crevice here, you can see we've got a sub box. And my multi tool has vanished. Fancy that! I don't have a multi tool. That's irritating. <laughs> anyway, 
Self-explanatory. I can't get this one right now, but you guys can if you come here. It's good to just show you. This one is a pain in the butt to get out if you want to try and get it out. You have to try and work it through this gap in the roof here because these bars block it. Normally all I do is I just come here and once I've tracted it to these bars here, you can get inside it and grab the guns and things. If it's armor, you might need a bigger backpack than what I've got on right, what I've got on right now because I've just got the Argo cargo backpack on. Anyway, once you grab that one, or the bits out of it at least, you can come up this area here and there's a second one sat right there. You can use this button here to move this door around if you want, you don't really need to. You can just use a tractor gun and pull it straight to you here and search it on the floor and then carry it back if you want. There you go, quick and easy, two loot boxes, red sub items. I can't open these which is really annoying but I suppose that leaves more of the surprise for you guys. I should point out that having been doing this for a few days now um, it's definitely worth your time to come and do this. Everything my character has on right now, bar my missing multi-tool, which is actually really annoying, you can get out of these sub-boxes. Um, except the Coda pistol that she's got on, because you can get that from Grimhex anyway, and the Demon Fang combat knife, which is a Citizen Con item. However, I have seen it in loot boxes in some of the bunker missions. The Artemex Canuto armor I've got on, you can get out of the red sub-boxes. Uh, the Argo backpack even I have seen which is insane because it's supposed to be a celebration item and CIG said they weren't going to put celebration items in these boxes but you can still get the Argo backpack. Um, I have seen the Pembroke suits so the uh, the RSI um, Pembroke armor you know the one that makes it like Iron Man and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man I've seen that as well. I have seen um, the holiday butcher helmets, so you know the, the helmets with the bulls horns on that have the uh, the fairy lights and the bulbs on them. That's very funny. Yeah, so it's well worth doing these. The Artemex armor is in these boxes. The P6 rifle I have on, you can't buy these in the shops anymore. The, this is one of the weapons that's been sort of discontinued as this patch came out. So the, the heavy weapons like the missile launcher and the railguns, you can only get those in the bunkers. But these rifles you can find in the yellow boxes around these sites, so they're quite hard to get hold of. And when you do see them, they tend to be the ones that are from the pledge store as well, because the yellow boxes are pledge store items. So more often than not, they're not just the, the normal black one. This is the Archangel one, I believe, so the, the one that comes with a matching set of armour. Obviously, I don't have the armour with it. Um, but yeah, it's got like a black camo scheme on it, as you can see. So well, well, well worth doing it. Right then, I'm going to relog. Or rather, I'm going to show you what you should do once you've got here about how to relog, and then we'll see if we can't find another box. Hopefully, one that's got a tractor item in it. <laughs> so, what you want to do once you've looted this area like this, you park nearby. Wonderful. What you have in your ship now is bed. And when I was on here at last, before we started having the server issues, bed logging was working fantastically. However, it does have a couple of quirks which I will teach you now. So, we head back into our ship. We close ourselves in so we don't get cold, and then we just lie down. Now again, I'm not going to do a time skip, I'm just going to let this run and hope it works okay. We log out. When you look around, you'll see the option for a log out. We go back to the main menu. Thankfully, I can still get back in. As you can see, friends list is still broken. And then we just jump into a server again and with any luck it won't have thrown us into the same one it hasn't done this to me yet it's always put me into a new server but what it will do is it, when it works properly and it has done for me i would say 95 percent of the time it will just throw you into another server and spawn you straight back at that wreck which is what's important because then you can just do this over and over and over and over until you get bored or you've got items that you really really want to save and you don't want to lose and then you can just take them back to Bikini Point and throw them in an inventory ready to be moved by another ship. And as you can see, we are here. Right, the quirks that I need to teach you. In this ship and a few others, I've noticed that they have a tendency to fall through the planet once you've respawned here, when you leave them. And there's a specific reason for that. I'll power the engine on. It's also a good practice to get into the uh, the cockpit because then you'll know if there's another ship here if there's more players and I suspect there might be once I put this video out take off and there's no landing gear you see it's like the the, the ship hasn't initialized with the mesh grid properly so all we do is we just hover a few feet off the ground 
and we go back down once we put our landing gear back out and then we're safe again. Simple as that. As we open the door, I'm just going to check just some food. I still don't have a multi-tool. That's really annoying. I've no idea where that's gone. But we'll just do this again. We'll just rinse and repeat. And we'll see if there's a box in that top section there. You just got to get good at timing this jump properly. There we go, look at that. Like Christmas. No tractor tool required, and in fact, there's a multi tool in it <laughs> that makes my job a whole lot easier. There we go. I've never found an orange one yet, I didn't realise the orange ones were a thing. Fancy that. Anyway, amazing. As you can see, tons and tons and tons and tons of gear in this one. You do get lots and lots of stuff in these ones. Lots of the Artimex suits, as I've said. In fact, I've almost got a full Artimex Canuto suit now out of these. I think I'm only missing the legs. We've got a Lodestone sniper rifle in this one. You normally find arrowheads in here. There's three in this one. But like I said, the P6 rifle that my uh, lady character's got on, you do find them. And if you don't want to keep the armor, it's worth taking at least the chest pieces that aren't the um, pledge store or the sub ones so normally you find lots of these inquisitor armor sets in these and there's normally just helmets galore as you can see um, and the chest pieces each one of them sells for about a thousand uec so what i tend to do is i just grab them throw them in a ship and then i take them back to virginia point wait until i've got a shed load of them and then i just fly them to grim hex and sell them at grim hex and it's a really easy way to make yourself some money so there we go that's an orange loot box in situ for you all excuse me and that's more or less it guys really 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 simple really easy you just use bed logging to get back where you were and you can just do that over and over and over you just have to make sure about the landing gear just looking at knickknack here because i'm back at new babbage and you can see that i've just got helmet upon helmet upon helmet upon armor sustenance arms more artimex pieces multi-tools inquisitor cores it just goes on and on and on and on and on it is so easy to find gear there and store it. Grenade launchers from the sub-boxes. Another grenade launcher from the sub-box. It's easy peasy to do and it just gets you loads of gear really quickly. The bits that you don't want you can sell for some quick money and you can just do that over and over again. So there we go. Cheap and nasty way to make lots and lots of uh, interesting little money pieces and find yourself some cool armour in case you want some better looking armour because the artifacts is hard to get now. Of course I just missed the train. Thanks new babbage. Anyway. <laughs> I hope this was helpful, I hope it is now that something like this is out you're just going to have to watch your back and keep your head on a swivel because there may be more than one person there doing this now but again, that's the risk we take when we do these things like this, you just got to watch out for yourself thank you very very much for watching good hunting for the loot and I'll see you all next time